Yeah, there are quite a lot of challenges. Uh, I think um, one of the big things is just going to be the sheer workload required to implement uh, the MDR and transition from the MDD to the MDR. So recruiting and retaining competent staff I think is going to be a big issue um, because we're all re competing from the same pool of talent, um, notified bodies, competent authorities uh, and manufacturers uh, all need people and that's going to be a big challenge. Clearly it's, it's a big impact, it's a big change. Um, there's potentially going to be a slower route to market for some devices, um, more high-risk devices for sure. I think one of the more interesting uh, changes could be um, with the introduction of the European Database for Medical Devices, Udemed, whereby uh, information on devices and clinical investigations needs to be made available to the public. So I think that's a really good introduction as part of the regulations and hopefully will bring more engagement from the general public, of which we all are, we are all potential patients, um, it'll bring more engagement into what the devices are, what kind of investigations are going on, and I think that potentially could bring a dramatic change into the way we all view uh, the medical device industry as potential patients. I think generally um, cost is always a big challenge for the healthcare industry um, and the medical device industry is no different. Um, there are significant cost uh, implications with the MDR being introduced, um, with the additional uh, paperwork required, with the additional um, administration of Udemed for example. Um, so I think while maintaining regulatory compliance and always keeping the safety and performance um, foremost in our minds, I think it's important that we all uh, are cognizant of managing the cost of healthcare and for us managing the cost of uh, the medical device industry and regulation. There's great opportunities, there's lots of really interesting, cool technology coming on, nanomaterials for example, um, personally, I think additive manufacturing, uh, 3D printing of devices, uh, has huge potential. Um, it's a, a technology that's becoming well established now, um, and the potential is, is enormous. Uh, for example, uh, designing and manufacturing a custom implant specifically tailored to a patient in minutes, potentially. Um, so I think. That has huge potential and uh, I look forward to seeing that technology develop over the coming years.